Hello. Welcome or welcome back to Watch It Lesson YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screens, you do see the Blancpain 50 Fathoms body scarf with a yeah, beautifully green dial. If you haven't seen this particular execution of the body scarf of Blancpain yet, this uh, yeah, might happen. It is a particular watch. It is a limited edition of only 25 pieces. And why is Blancpain issuing a watch with only 25 pieces? It is a watch that is linked to a nature conservation project here in Europe, in Germany. And 25,000 euros of the sales of these watches then will be a support for the project. I will talk about the project just in a moment, but I wanted to show you the watch since it is a particular beautiful green. And some of you, since there are 25 pieces available, some of you might think, oh, I need to get it, even if it's linked to such a project, if it is in Germany, et cetera, et cetera, and you are based, I don't know where, but I think it's worth seeing it. And I can tell you, if you are interested in the watch, there are some examples of those 25 pieces available through the Blancpain Boutique in Munich, Germany. So if you contact them in Munich, you might be among those who get one. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Let's talk about the case. The watch case is made out of titanium grade 23. What is this legendary grade 23 alloy? It is a grade 5 superlative alloy, if you want to call it that way, or a very pure alloy of titanium grade 5. It is also called Ely meaning titanium grade 5 Ailey, and that the word or the abbreviation Ailey stands for extra low interstitials. So nomen est omen in this case, and yeah, it does tell us that this is a very pure alloy. And how could it be different? Yes, this special alloy comes from medical applications, yeah, or from sophisticated mechanical applications. This titanium is very much used in the aeronautical and space industry, so yeah. Titanium grade 23 is also pretty, it's scratch resistible, a six on a Mohs scale, so you really get a pretty unique material if you are considering this body scarf. The strap features a titanium pin buckle as it should be. The diameter of the case is 43 millimeter. The thickness of the case is 13.45 millimeter and the so-called lug-to-lug distance is 49 millimeter. What else to mention in between the lugs? I've been measuring 23 millimeter. Yes, the case, as you know it from that type of Blancpain 50 Fathoms body scarf, is waterproof up to 30 bar or 300 meters, so it is a diver. Therefore, therefore, of course, it features an unidirectional satin brush titanium basal, titanium grade 23, once again with a green ceramic inlay and liquid metal hour markers. So what you see on the basil, that's made out of liquid metal. 120 clicks, unidirectional turning, of course, as it should be. The crown, the crown is a screw down crown, huge, by the way, looking good, feeling good. And yeah, the advantage of such a huge crown is not only that it looks good, but you can operate it easily with gloves if it is necessary. Well, uh, what do you see or what do we see on the dial? A date indication positioned at 4.30. Something I know some of you might not like because they say uh, 4.30. But look, is the date at 4.30 disturbing anything on the dial? No, it is not limiting the use of hour markers, um, of indexes. It's just there where normally nothing is. And for me, at least for me, the positioning of the date at uh, 4.30 is a good one. <laughs> But yeah, tastes are different. I know, I know, I know. Let me also quickly show you, because this is always interesting, what happens if I unscrew the crown, put it in its second position, and I begin to turn so you can see how the different numbers of the date indication look like. I always do this so you get an impression. Yes, single digit, uh, of course, are much bigger than double digit. That's how it is. And yeah, so, but quickly run you through and you can see these, um, yeah, on your screen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's do the other little exercise I'm always doing is advancing the hands until midnight and let us together discover what happens uh, with the date indication. Will it be an instantaneous jump? I expect nothing less. And let's now go, 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 go and see what will happen. And there, there, yeah, there you go. Instantaneous around midnight. Yeah, that's what we expect from such a watch. Embedded in the 300 meter waterproof case is the Calibre 1315 of Blancpain. That's a four hertz movement, 28,800 semi oscillations per hour. We do have 120 hours of power reserve. That's pretty something. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, the uh, watch features a silicon hairspring and some other measurements being taken to give it a pretty good anti-magnetic property. And that's also written, if you look closely on the case back, it is written anti-magnetic. And so this has been not engraved there for fun, but yeah, it is uh, the case. You can prominently see the huge green rotor with the engraving of Blancpain and Sylt. Sylt is the island where this nature conservation project uh, happens. I will just talk about it in a few seconds. And you can see the green rotor is a full gold rotor, but has been painted green, but it is an 18 karat gold rotor, gold rotor. So it is not a Funxton or any other heavy material. It is gold. The island of Sylt, part of Germany, close to Denmark in the northern part of Germany, is a huge, a huge rest area, wintering area, breeding ground for migrating birds. So about 50 bird species year by year come by, stop over and either take a rest, either stay in winter or have their breeding grounds. And what Blancpain supports with the organization aquatil.org is special constructions where they are going to build artificial little islands in the so-called Rantum Bassin. So they are not connected with the land to prevent new enemies that have migrated to the island coming from Germany, that's the red fox, the martens and rats that are actively, of course, attacking these birds when they either winter there, rest there for their huge travels they do. They travel thousands of kilometers, these migrating birds, and they need rest places and, of course, safe breeding grounds. So what is done? Artificially, islands are built. This is a very nice project. It's the first time done in Germany. The support will be 25,000 euros coming from Blampa plus additional money that will flow end of the day. And it is really to help these birds. And the nice thing is, since it is really built up in an area, so you will be also able to actively observe the birds. An observation platform will be built where you have binoculars to really watch from quite a close distance the birds, what they're doing, when they are protected with their small islands that are going to be built, especially there. Professor Dr. Franz Brümmer and his colleague, Professor Dr. Ralf Oliver Schill are the two scientists in charge of the project. They are those who will also keep me posted and I will keep you posted if you want about the project. Everything should happen in between one year now. If you are interested, here is a link uh, to their organization, aquatil.org. So there you can get more information and in case you like the Blancpain, as I said in the beginning of the video, please check out the boutique in Munich. And maybe, maybe they still have one available for you. The watch is sold there for 14,000 euro. 14,000 euro including 19% VAT. Thanks for watching a particular video in this case. Thank you very much. All the best and yup, stay tuned and watch you guys on YouTube because yes, as you know, there is much more to come. Bye-bye.